This afternoon, a Brooklyn mother is being questioned in the death of her nine-year-old daughter. The medical examiner's office is trying to figure out the cause of death, but detectives tell us they're not ruling out foul play. CBS 2's John Diaz has more on the investigation and how the community is reacting. What was once the home of nine-year-old Shalom Gafaro now remains a crime scene, with police still investigating and this Crown Heights neighborhood still reeling. I think that's real terrible, and whoever do it should be, be, be comfortable for what they did. When I found out about it, it was like, damn, no, nah, it can't be, you know, it can't be, but it's true. Police say around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon, the Brooklyn girl was found dead inside her fourth floor Lincoln Place apartment with bite marks on her head and back. Everybody in the neighborhood knew, uh, in this part of the neighborhood, knew the, the people, we knew of them. The owner of the restaurant right below her apartment building told us those who got close to the scene came out looking shocked. The superintendent came at. Um, Probably about 1.15, and uh, about 10 minutes later, he came out, and he was kind of ashen-faced, and uh, shortly thereafter, all of a sudden, the police and the paramedics and everything came. Police sources say the mother was the one who called 911, explaining her daughter was not breathing, but did not have a reason why. Reverend Dr. Pedro Torres knows the family well. It caught me off guard. The daughter <laughs> had the most beautiful spirit in the world, cheerful, happy, always pleasant. His ministry fed the family on occasion and gave them toys for Christmas. When I gave her the doll for Christmas, she gave me one of the biggest hugs in the world. You know, and, and that resonated with me for a long time. Because the way she, she, she hugged me, I could feel she appreciated it. And please tell us that this nine year old girl's 13 year old sibling was removed from the home as a precaution. From Crown Heights, Brooklyn, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.